What's up everybody, it's your host Kurt Jagoon, and in today's video I'm going to cover an attacking strategy that we've already talked about before in the past with the exception of I'm going to add a different element to it. I am talking about Shattered Gohobo, but this time all of these attacks are dealing with an EQ entry. And I know a lot of people kind of argue about which is better, Jump with Poison or EQ that opens up the base, multiple compartments. Uh, it just depends on the attacker, honestly, and what he prefers. Both of the attacking methods work quite nicely. But we're going to just look at them and focus on them in this video and see what you think. So here we go. We're going to start here with Gavin. As you can see, this is a .5 base, a little rushed. It's uh, not very impressive overall, but there is three bows. Uh, so for Town Hall 9, he's got two Infernos as well. It's, it's, it's a pretty good challenge for Town Hall 9 older meta as well so so the dps is really strong and concentrated and right here uh gavin is just making his funnel being very patient here he's already got inferno uh hitting a golem already wow even the wall breakers are getting targeted holy smokes all right so he's got a perfect funnel into the base here And it's already opened up quite nicely with that EQ, as you can see. And there goes the Rage. And guys, he is getting mega value out of this push into the base. He's getting both of the Infernos down. Now, the CC is going to be engaged right now by the Queen. Here comes the Hogs. He wastes no time. He's got his Hogs moving in that quickly. And his Hogs are just going to converge in. He's, you know, I think he's trying to save his kill squad a little bit here. There's the Queen's ability. And with this type of old meta base, uh, you can't waste a lot of time. you you, you got to get in there because there is just so much uh, uh, DPS raining down on your kill squad at this time. And your hogs. So as you can see right here, Gavin's got the hog works going. They're, they're moving quite nicely through the base. The King is following them around. He is just like beating on them and killing them. Look at him. There's one right there dead. Now that bomb tower uh, was a little disconcerting, but he's got like 27 hogs left, so he's okay. Gonna speed it up, guys. It's only cleanup now. Great job, Gavin, on this attack. And they're gonna deal. Oh wow, they hit a troll bomb on the outside. That was something this team really enjoyed doing. Uh, they, they put a lot of bombs in weird places. And guys, believe it or not, sometimes that is advantageous. All right, so let's look at Gavin again. He rolled a six-pack this war, guys, and he's attacking a southern teaser. Uh, this is another old meta base, uh, and it is... I, I, don't, I don't know that they were ever that effective, um, but apparently at one time people thought they were. Uh, but Gavin is going to show you exactly what to do with this base. Right now he's just kind of picking off percentage and as you can see he's going in on the right side of the base, probably around uh, this archer tower or either up here on these wizard towers. I haven't seen the actual hit. Yep, there we go. He's just going to wall break in there. Now I like this here. Um, he's using a, a giant just to tank the funnel right now. And he, he wants to put his golem in tighter and that's what he did. And here we go, everything's moving in quite nicely here. And there's going to be a rage very soon. And there it is, that rage is going to get him really deep into the base here. And just look at that, I mean he's at 33%. The hogs hadn't, here comes the hogs, 36%. 37, now the hogs are beating on defenses, so they're about 40 before the hogs. I try to keep up with that, I think it's interesting uh, the amount of a percentage that the kill squad gets. Uh, sometimes I've seen kill squads get up to 50% and that just blows my mind. And look at all those hogs guys. There is a ton of hogs here. They're so green looking yummy. Once they knock that bow down it's time for the heal. And guys I'm going to speed it up because this is a wrap. Wow talk about overkill 
All right, there we go. Good job, Gavin, on that six pack. Now we're going to take a look at another one of our guys that loves this attacking strategy, and that is Ryan. And he is rolling that same setup, same army comp, and it works. It works almost every time. I rarely see Ryan fail. Uh, he, he does have a very high percentage uh, hit rate. So let's take a look. And he loves this attack. Ryan can do air, but he prefers this very attacking method. And there's that quake set and you can see that's going to get him the queen and that's going to get he's going to be able to take out these uh these two air defense here if there's a bomb in there you know you're getting rid of all those bomb locations and now he's making that funnel and and he he's got wall breakers here but he really didn't even need them i think he just made them and didn't realize it as he done his attack so that was eight troop space that he's he's going to waste here Oh, wow, look at this, guys. No, he's actually using them. He is actually doing something I've never seen done before. He's actually using that golem to tank his hogs, kind of like reminiscent of the older meta attacking styles where uh, the attack would proceed by a giant uh, coming in tanking, but he used a golem this time. And that is really cool. And it seems to have worked really well, actually. There's a lot of skellies on the hogs, though, unfortunately. A lot of skellies. And all the hogs pretty much are healed up to get through the last uh, archer towers. And there went another bomb. Boom, boom. With that, the skellies are down. You don't have a ton of hogs left at the end of this attack, but it's plenty to get it done. Great job, Ryan, on this attack. Excellent planning. Love the uh, golem. That was pretty cool. And that is definitely not seen very often. All right, we got one more attack, and that's by Ryan. He rolled a six pack this war and got her done, and he's attacking the general. How about that? You guys have seen this base before. Watch that quake. It's going to give him access to about probably 60, 70% of the base. Here comes uh, his funnel here. There's the wall breakers going. Great. Everything looks great at this point. And he's going to rage them once they reach in. There you go. Once they get a certain depth in the base. King's ability has been used. If you could just clear those holes out, like where that wizard tower is, that, that could be a bomb. Yep, bomb placement right there. He cleared that out, so now he doesn't have to heal there for his hogs. And you can already see the writings on the wall. There's only like maybe one other spot that he needs to heal. Um, and he's, he, his hogs are pretty much going to be okay. He can heal right there by that um, AD. And uh, I probably would have dropped it a little bit deeper because there's probably going to be a bomb set in between the cannon and the archer tower. Yeah, it was a double set. Whoa. Yeah, look at that, guys. Dead hogs. Yep, he's going to have to clean up here. But he's got plenty of cleanup troops left. He gets it done. This is one of those attacks where you, you cross your fingers and go, please work through. But as you can see, hopefully, I know that last attack uh, probably scared you a little bit. But guys, this attacking strategy works. Of, it has a high percentage of, of uh, success rate in our clan. Um, like I told you, Ryan, I, I rarely see him fail. But now Ryan is a skilled attacker, and he does use this attack quite often. So he's very proficient at it. Um, obviously, this was a fresh hit. He didn't have any idea that double set was there. And so uh, you, you can't predict that sometimes. Uh, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Uh, maybe try it sometime in FCs. Try the EQ. I know that not everybody's a big fan of it. But I tell you what, guys. It does get you into that base deep. And you can clear out those uh, bomb sets, whether it be a double set or whether it be a couple of single bomb locations. Uh, you'll have a, a better chance to get those down with your core shot with this attack. And guys, I 
Hope you enjoyed seeing this and I am out of here.